it's Ileana and welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be making this a cute little lemon card. I wanted to make this card uh, because I have a niece and her name is Olivia and her nickname is Lemon and uh, she was going to come to visit so I wanted to make her a card. So I'm starting off with this tailored expression squeeze the day stencil. I did spray the back of it with some pixie spray. Uh, I did not put the cardstock onto the sticky mat with the film off. I just used it kind of like as a blending, um, just an area to do blending that I could wipe off. I didn't want to muck up my um, sticky mat. And plus the pixie spray has some adhesive to it so it did stick to the panel. I am uh, just using some different Distress Oxides. I did use the Squeeze Lemonade and Mustard Seed and I, I used my Rabbit Hole Bitty Blender to uh, add a little bit of dimension with a darker color. Same thing here with the Mowed Lawn and the Rustic Wilderness Distress Oxides. I'm just adding a little bit of dimension to one side of the leaves. And once all that's done, I'm going to peel everything up. This stamp is uh, two layers. And at first I'm looking at it, I'm like, oh wow, this looks really good. But then it starts to dry and then it, it flattens out and it doesn't look as nice. So later on I decide to use my colored pencils. But for now I'm going to add some die cuts. I am using the Simon Says Stamp Lemon Zest die. Uh, I am combining two different brands of lemons and I'm trying to figure out where does this extra little piece go. It kind of looks like a banana to me. So I did cut it out but I didn't use it. And I'm trying to see uh, how this little branch goes. Um, I'm trying to see where does how, how do other people put this on there so I'm trying to figure it out. Uh, I do pull out my phone and I go to the Simon Says Stamp website and I kind of see how other people place their um, their leaves. So uh, I'm just looking at some inspiration and trying to see how are they how are they attaching this little bitty branch. So once that's done, I kind of feel like I need to add some dimension to it. So I'm going to use some Distress Oxide. I should have probably used uh, Distress Ink, but uh, I find the oxides better to blend with. And I had added this little piece of cardstock to the back and I pulled it, up, pulled it apart so that I could add some, um, some darker color to it. And you can see I'm just trying to uh, put it back on there. So I'm just going to use my scissors and then I'll just re-adhere it back. I, when I create cards, I do uh, kind of have a plan in mind and I'll play with it and I'll create a card and I'm like, okay, well, I'll make a video for this. And then as I'm making the video for it, then I start changing my mind of how I want to make things. And that's because I'm just a slow crafter. I, I, I enjoy the process. I don't really like to rush through projects just for the sake of, you know, banging them out. I really love to just sit there and and play with the paper and just enjoy the whole thing of creating things. So now I'm going to go ahead and assemble everything together and I love the MFT wonky rectangles. Uh, so I use those all the time. Uh, I'm just going to add the sentiment from the tailored expression set. And I am noticing that the vellum, because it has the stitching on it, it is kind of um, lifting up on the edges. So I did use my magnet to hold it down. But what I did learn on my initial run was that the vellum is textured and to get the, the um, pigment ink to stick, I need to let it lift up so I can press it down so I can get the full image. I tried stamping it a couple of times, but it, it just wouldn't go on certain spots of that vellum. So by letting it flip up, I could press down where it was stuck. 
and I did use VersaFine uh, Claire Green Oasis and I'm using the primary green embossing powder from WOW and because it's vellum I am using my Ranger Heat It tool it's just not as uh, hot or as strong as the regular embossing gun and so I I have both of them and I just decided to use it and I find that heating from below you get more of an even um, texture on your embossing powder so now let's put together let's put everything together and I am I'm going to add some dimension to uh, one of the leaves uh, that's going to go on top and the other one's going to be tucked under. So one will be adhered directly onto the um, vellum and the other one is going to be above the lemon. And so I am going to add some of this adhesive. This is the tailored expression roll of adhesive and uh, it is very easy to apply and it doesn't stick to um, the roll is hard so you're able to um, it, it's just it's just great to use so I'm adding my vellum to I'm sorry I'm adding my die cut to my vellum and I'm noticing that maybe I want to add a little dimension to that leaf because it's just a little flat next to the um, lemon and I didn't do this on my dry run so I didn't realize that it was going to change the outcome of the Wink Estella um, so now I'm going to add this onto the front. Uh, I am going to add some uh, some of the Plus Glue Tape Adhesive Vellum. I had bought this a long time ago and when I was looking for the product to add the link below, I had a hard time finding it. So you might have to contact maybe some of the big stores like Simon Says Stamp and Ellen Hudson to see if they'll they'll find it and carry it but I ended up finding it at a small scrapbook store and I ended up buying five of them just because I never want to be without it you just can't see it at all behind the vellum so I'm going to add a little bit of this adhesive to the back of the stem just so that it stays put uh, and I don't really like it when uh, things get caught up on the envelope like little bitty things so I like to make sure everything's adhered down well and once I once I get it put together I go ahead and I add a little bit of this Nouveau uh, what's this called um, I have it written down on my list I just have these little drops um, I'm trying to, <laughs> I'll figure out what the name of it is. I'm trying to even them out uh, because it is a little bit older. Oh, they're the dandelion yellow. Sorry about that. Um, and I'm looking at the card and I'm noticing that the lemons have faded back and they've dried and they kind of look flat. So I decide I'm going to take my Prismacolor pencils and I'm going to uh, just add some dimension by lightly coloring them. I'm going to sharpen my pencil with my uh, Orbit pencil sharpener and I'm just going to I'm just going to color on the right side the right and bottom kind of like a J um, on my on my lemons on my background so I'm going to pull this up and I'm just going to color on one side and because of the lighting you can kind of see it it's like very drastic in the video but in person it's more subtle and I think it's just the reflection of the wax pencil on the cardstock but but you can see here um, that the middle ones that I didn't add the yellow to they look so flat and plain and I'm gonna add some of the green to the stems and I'm just going to lightly add the color and then I'll just fade it into the stems. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just the uh, outer perimeter that I have to do. But you can see uh, I do have a little test strip on the side that tells me what the color is going to be when I um, 
when a color on craft cardstock. So you can see I'm going to go ahead and reapply the vellum adhesive just to make sure that everything sticks well. And I'm adding plenty just because it is going over um, the, the chalky consistency of the Distress Oxides. But you can see, you can't even see the adhesive on that. So I decide I'm going to add some Wink Estella because that's just, I just love it. And I'm going to be very liberal with it. I didn't want to spray it with um, a shimmer spray or anything like that because I thought that the Distress Oxides were going to react to the spray. But you can see here where the leaf looks a little bit different. But I figured it would be okay because sometimes you get that glare on a leaf. So I figured, well, this will mimic the glare. Hope you like this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Have a great day. Bye.